Yeah, we need to. I need to unhook that one wire so it turns the power off to it, and then reset it, reset the temp to it. What is going on, Gorilla Army? Let me, there we go. Caught that just in time. How about that? <clears throat> when you see this, smash the fuck out of that like button. Hit the comment button. Comment button? Hit the heart button. Man, this stuff is like blowing up. <clears throat> Say, hey, what's up when you get here? Comment. What's going on, Anna, Anna, banana? Awesome sauce. What's up? everybody cool we've got a few people on here i'm gonna get right to this today is day one of my next 30-day facebook live challenge where i will be answering your questions and giving my opinions and perceptions and all of that stuff on questions that come up from my question of the day so if you like that kind of thing Pay attention every morning I ask a question of the day in the group and sometimes I will grab one of those comments or questions in the comments and I will turn that into a Facebook Live and I will get into it. Cool. Thanks, Curtis. I appreciate that. Thanks, Frank. Awesome sauce. Cool. What's going on, Jason? Get to it. All right, Anna, I'm going to get to it. Let me pull this up real quick. I asked a question yesterday. I got to find it real quick because it went bye-bye. It's here somewhere. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Mona asked, getting better at having them understand their reality without using fear tactics. Meaning, her question is, how do I get better at having my audience understand their reality without using fear tactics. For those of you who know me, I'm not big on leveraging pain. I think it's a really shitty, nasty, vile way of, of getting a sale done. Um, beyond that, I don't generally go after people that have a pain that I can fix. I would rather, if I'm going to intentionally go after clients, I'm going to go after clients who are killing it and, totally stoked and want to get to the next level. They're easier to deal with than somebody that's in a lot of pain, right? I'm not a doctor. I don't want to be a surgeon. Fuck all that. I'm a sales guy, right? Okay. So, and then Anna says, I agree. Learning how to ask questions, Landon, it comes easy to you, but for us noobs, it's harder. Okay. Well, let's get into that. Um, Jesus, somebody who knows Facebook, like not the company, but I can't, for whatever reason, get my um, posts, like notifications to pop up like full screen in front of the shit that I'm trying to do. Anyways, Anna, when you want to know something, what do you do? You ask a question, right? So if you want to know, I'm going to go back to this example. You probably remember this one. When you're trying to figure out what to make for dinner, you ask your husband, what do you want for dinner? right? Well, there's a lot of ways to ask that question. And the better question you ask, the better, more detailed, more specific response you're going to get. How do we find out what our audience wants without leveraging their pain? Or how do we help them understand their situation without leveraging pain? What we're talking about here is qualifying. And before that, we're talking about pre-qualifying, meaning if my audience doesn't know what their problem is and doesn't know what their 
want is and doesn't know what they want, I have to educate them on that. This comes back to the four paths that your potentials are on. And it all comes down to the, their own level of awareness of their situation. Well, you can in your prospecting or in your lead generation, you can through your messaging intentionally pursue those who know what their problem is or their want and desire is and therefore you don't need to leverage that. You just need to communicate that you understand that that's what they want. You guys all here, there's 20 of you watching, you guys all here want to know how to get clients or how to build an audience or lead generation or prospecting or how to close a fucking sale. That's what you guys want. What did that just demonstrate? Demonstrated that I understand what you guys want. I understand what you guys want because I understand my topic, getting clients. There's a lot of different aspects to that one big main topic, but how do I engage you guys and help you understand your situation without leveraging the pain thing? I ask questions. I ask questions of the day every day, and the reason I do that is so I better understand what you understand about your own situation. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and Getting better at having them understand their reality without using fear tactics. Mona, what I would say to that is to get better at having them understand their reality without using fear tactics, you must get better at identifying the segment of your marketplace that you want to engage with. If you want to engage with all four paths of their level of awareness about their situation, that's fine you need to have four slightly different messages. One message, what's up, Chris? How you doing, man? One, one segment of a marketplace, they don't understand that they've got an issue. They don't understand, they may be doing $100,000 a month in revenue and they don't realize they wanna to go to that next level until somebody gives them some information that they internalize and come up with, Hmm, I do a hundred grand a month in revenue, but man, it'd be really cool if I could do 150 or 200. So that very beginning level of your marketplace doesn't understand that they have a want or a need or a desire or a problem. You have to educate those people. How you do that without using fear tactics is by asking them questions that are not based on fear. They're based on understanding. Mona, how do you get better at identifying what your marketplace does and does not understand about their own situation? I hope you caught that. There was no fear in there. There was no pain in there. It's just a simple question. How do you get better at identifying what your marketplace does and does not know about their own situation? You ask them questions. Okay. Um, Anna, I agree, learning how to ask questions. Landon, it comes easy to you. Okay, well, I'm glad you think that. Let's, uh, what's going on, Manny? Awesome sauce, you guys rock. Okay, so Anna, check this out. Getting better at asking questions. Well, if you're gonna ask a question, you need to know what it is that you're asking a question about right? So let's go back to the dinner example. Are you hungry? <coughs> Mailman's here. Dogs are going to bark their friggin' heads off. Honey, it looks like he needs a signature. Welcome to the life in the suburbs. Um, are you hungry is a very bland, vague, almost kind of shitty question because it, yes, I'm hungry. Now you need to ask another question, right? So a better question than are you hungry is, I'm hungry, would you like something to eat? It's a slightly better question, but it gets you the same response. Better question than that, I'm starving, I'm gonna make X, Y, Z, would you like some? Much better question. I'm gonna make steak, would you like some? No, I'm not really in the mood for steak, okay, cool. I already just told you that's what I'm going to make. So you don't want any, that's fine. That's not really how it works in, in relationships though, right? How do you ask a better question than that? Well, you know what the topic is, dinner. 
you know what you've got in the house to make food with, right? So you can come up with a couple of suggestions. I'm thinking about making X, Y, Z or ABC, which sounds better, right? They have a much higher probability of liking what you make if you give them an opportunity to choose. Asking questions comes down to this. You need to understand your topic and you need to understand your audience. If you understand your audience, it's easy to ask them questions to get the information that you're looking for. Anna, does that make sense? If you guys have any questions, put it in here. It's been so long, clients, my son, no time doing plans. Cool, Sarah. Boom, what's up, Trish? Trish Leto in the house. Is it a head in a box? Totally. That's funny. Hungry for apples? Dustin. Need to ask the right kind of questions. Well, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Inception. Or do the research yourself. Yes, dinner. What's going on, Michael? Eli's in the house, Sharon. Cool, you guys rock. This is day one of day 30. I'm gonna rock these out for about the next 30 days, one day at a time. If you didn't catch the beginning of this, I know there's a bunch of people on now. Every day I ask a question of the day. Based on your comments or your questions in there, I'm going to pick one of those and I'm going to discuss it on that day's Facebook Live from now on. These Facebook Lives will happen sometime in the middle of the day, sometime between 11 and like one or two o'clock my time, Mountain Standard. Let's see here. I missed the question and the answer. What's up, Tasha? Do you necessarily need to change if referrals are working for you? Do you necessarily need to change if referrals are working for you? No, if it's working, don't change anything. Um, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Frozen, is it me? Yeah, Sharon, it must be. It's not me. It's not me. Cool. All right. Looks like you guys don't have any specific questions on that. I have to use this exact tactic with my kids all the time. Totally, Manny. I've got kids. Um, I tend to be a little bit of a dictator. I'm making X for dinner. If you don't want it, don't eat, right? Um, I'm also a chef, and I know what my family likes to eat, so... That was a little bit different when I was cooking. Poor Ash, she hasn't had a home-cooked meal since the pig roast. Prior to that, it's been like six months. Anyways, you guys have a fantastic day. If you've got questions on how to better understand helping your audience identify their situation or better understand their situation, post those in the comments. I will come back and answer those once I'm not pounding the heart button, even though I am Landon Porter's favorite. Yes. Why are you not pounding the, the heart button? Why? What the hell? Sarah, you were frozen. Missed my answer. Um, Sarah, do you necessarily need to change if referrals are working for you? No. If it's not broken, don't fix it. That's my response. All right. Cool. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Oh, and I'll see you on Friday Night Live tonight. It's going to be a good one. Content, content, content. How to come up with content your market drools over or something to that effect.